And the next morning, I wake up and I check Twitter. There was two <laughs> men that were like on the run from Chicago. For murder. For shooting. And, yeah. And, and they matched they the- They matched the description perfectly. Like when I fart, nobody says anything about it, but the teacher like called me over and I was like, yes. And she was like, hey, you're gonna have to get a medical note if you keep doing this, or ask to go to the restroom. No way. Yeah, she asked me to get a medical note. Bro, wow. she would have sent me to the what? ER by now. I was like, I was like, she would have been like, go. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the LOL podcast. <laughs> that's so weird. Let's I don't want to do that. It. <laughs> Let's go. That's not a thing. Let's go. If you hit your wife and I went and said, "Hey, Cash hits his wife," that's yeah. not me talking bad about you. <laughs> no, that's like you speaking truth. Yeah. Right. You're saying like I did something bad. First of all, why that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like anything else. No, sorry. Oh my gosh, like just like, first thing that came to mind. Like man. you know, like like when he smashed all my plates on the dining room floor. Oh, or like when Kate hit me. I didn't oh. hit you. I get hit. I did not hit you. Hey, she hey, hit me. Tell this me about that. This is turning down to fourth grade drama. What like, happened? What is going on? Why'd here? she hit you, bud? Why'd she hit me? Yeah. Bro, because I fart and it's a condition. <laughs> no. I'm being so for real right now. I went to a doctor. Oh my God. No. I'm Wait, about to have to go to a doctor, but I don't want to. <laughs> because in reality, I'm like, spend money to stop farting less. <laughs> no, y'all listen, listen. Why? No, let me say it. Let me say it. I'm like, would I do? Okay. I started counting my farts. Yeah. And I was like, because it's getting out of hand. <laughs> so you're just and like, you're just like, the other day, you're like, that's one. Yeah, yes. no, that's and two. I noticed it was getting out of hand when you told me something. I said, bro, the worst thing about an airplane is when you got to hold all your farts in and your stomach's hurting at the end. And Matt goes, that's not normal. Yeah. He was like, what do you mean? It's a three hour flight. <laughs> what do you got to fart like once? And I was like, no, like, I got to fart like 12 times on the plane. And he's like, dude, that's not normal. You should get that checked out. <laughs> you took that literal. Oh, I took that to heart. No, listen. And, and so I started counting my farts and I get up every day. I don't count the exact amount because after like 20 or 30, I stop counting. Oh my but gosh. Every day I get up to Y'all like think 20. He's joking too. Not joking. I get up to like 20, 30s, maybe even <sighs> mid 30s. And I'm like, this is out of hand. Like I'll walk in somewhere oh and I'm like, gosh. wow, I farted. Like if I walked in somewhere for like 30 minutes, I'd be like, dude, I farted seven times in there. That's actually not normal. And Kate's telling me to get it checked I'm out. I'm getting a phone call. Should I answer it? Who is, Who is it? it? Yeah. It was Brooklyn. Uh, no, no, probably not. Yeah, no. that's one of his. That's one of his Mini drama X's. girls. No, Brooklyn's uh, she's in not Japan. Drama. She can only call me for like an hour. Brooklyn's not drama. I'm kidding. It was no. a joke. Obviously, Brooklyn's not drama. Well, right. The thing about no, farting. Not drama. Right. The, the, the thing about farting is. I don't know. I don't even know what Brooklyn is talking about. Listen. No, no. Yeah. Listen. No, I'm kidding. But like, the thing about farting is. In my ELA class, I also have a condition where, like, <laughs> Yo, I thought no, I was the only I, one. I swear, I always fart. I knew like, I smelled something. I, <laughs> that was probably you walking in the room. <laughs> no, but like, I swear, I um, my okay. So my ELA teacher, she's um. Ooh, can you explain to me what that is? Yeah, I was about to ask the English same thing. English language arts. Yeah, English oh. language arts and sometimes reading. Mom, it's fine. Okay, <laughs> it, it, she's not. No, no woman's gonna watch this. Or like, obviously, well, you know, like, it, not, no woman's like, gonna watch. Yeah, this. Woman. Not, 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 only not, guys watch this. No, no, I mean, like, not somebody older than sixty. Okay, Harper. <laughs> Please tell me about your okay. farting problem in so Eli. Basically, Eli. um, um, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. I also have a burping Bro. problem, but um, but we're just not. <laughs> all right, this is the second time. Anyways. So, His little chair gets me every yeah, time. I course, forget that he's sitting in his little chair. I'm sorry, but why does it have like a second thing? He he might break it. Anyways, so <laughs> I um in ELA, my teacher, I was farting the whole class, and she said, Harper, meet me after class. And I was like, okay. Do you like fart out loud? Like it makes noises? Yeah, yeah, oh, as a joke. And no, and people start laughing. And I'm like, because I'm known for that. Oh, I'm not known for farting, but like, I'm known what? for being like. I'm known for that no, too. <laughs> Let's go, he farting buddies. That. No, but like, I was um usually like when I fart, nobody says anything about it. But the teacher like called me over, and I was like, yes. And she was like, hey. You're gonna have to get a medical note if you keep doing this, or ask to go to the restroom. No way. Yeah, she asked me to get a medical note. Bro, wow. she would have sent me to the what? ER by now. I was like, I was like, she would have been like, go nine one one. No, but also the thing is, I was like, I was like, you know, like I, I can't really help. I was, I was laughing at that. <laughs> I was like, I can't help my bodily functions. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It wait. says that every day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I see that every day of my it life. Says that exact because thing. somebody. Oh. I smell something in the room. <laughs> Everyone looks at me and goes, Cash! Nah, 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 nah. I'm like, yo, 
Yo, Harper. Don't act like y'all don't do that no. too. And just because I do it more is no reason listen. to hate. What? The other day, <laughs> we're at the doctor. Yeah. Cash gets an x-ray of his back. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> we're at this, this proved my condition. No, so we're, this and we're at the it. chiropractor, not a gastrologist. We're at a chiropractor, and we're looking at the x-ray. Do you know what a chiropractor is? Yeah, I, a, a guy who I had I had got an x-ray the day before, and we're comparing them. And Cash has got this big, like, circle-looking thing right on his ribs. I was worried for a second. And, like, it wasn't on mine, and we were like... <laughs> What is that? And right before we were about to ask it, doctor goes, now I know y'all are probably wondering what this circle is. Mm -hmm. That's just, uh, pretty much everybody has like a gas bubble. He goes, that's just like the gas bubble that everybody has, but yours is just significantly larger than the average person. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, he actually said that. And I was like, so you think I got a condition too? This because is not it's normal. Normal. Oh, my right. X-ray. Like, mine was not there. Dude, that's three scenarios. Matt telling me the airplane thing is not normal. <laughs> that's not. The chiropractor telling me my X-ray is not normal because of my fart bubble. And everyone <laughs> telling me it's not normal when I fart that much. Oh. No, Who weird, do you even see about that? The weird thing is, is, like, how, how do farts smell? Like, how do they smell? Right? Like, it's just, like, air coming out of your butt. Like, I don't understand how it smells. Like, I, I, I understand, like, you poop. But, like, that doesn't smell after you wipe. You know? <laughs> Yo. Well, if wait. you do wipe, I mean. No, but. No, it's. Some people don't wipe. No, 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 no. Everyone. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I mean. Everyone, wait a second. Some Hold people on. don't wipe. Harper, do you? Harper. Do you just pick and choose on days you want to wipe? Sometimes. No! 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 What do you mean? I don't no! poop a lot. I, I do not poop oh a lot. I don't care if you poop a lot. No. Like, did you do it even one time? Because that's okay, okay. too many. Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. So, I, um, basically... Some days I don't like for This is like one of those things it's like watching a car crash. No, it's, like, <laughs> it's, like, it's like you wanna look away. No but you can't. Like, yeah. I wanna stop like, listening. I wanna tell you to stop talking, but I can't. Well, I'm not gonna stop. No. So basically I I go days without pooping and days without peeing, and then it all comes out. That's the opposite one of day. her. She says she poops three times a day. Okay, it stops, but well, like, yeah. I'm what not else gonna lie. Let's hear more about your yeah. wife's poop schedule, Kat. No, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Probably like a month ago, and I was like, we, I don't know why. It must have been something I was eating. I literally was pooping three times a day. Okay, but so back was, to you not wiping. Oh, uh, anyways, um, we don't have to talk about that anymore, but like, I, um, I was like, I don't know. So, I also ate this one brownie. Is a fiber brownie. That'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> that will do it. Yeah. The fiber. And it's in the school vending machine. Who has a fiber brownie in the school vending machine? Right. Like it, that's offensive to some people. Like like who? Wait, a fiber brownie? Like, like that's offensive, offensive because because they're like you need to get all your poop out in the next three days. I'm like, well, I got all mine out in the next hour, so I don't understand. Like, it's, wait, Harper, do you poop in school bathrooms? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do actually. Uh, I, mean, I, I mean, I can't be lying on this. Like, somebody's gonna find out. So, <laughs> wait. Somebody's gonna walk what's the, the difference between a brownie and a fiber brownie? Fiber, fiber makes one you, has fiber. No, yeah, one is a brownie, and one has fiber, but fiber makes you let all. Yeah, it like literally just clears oh, you out. Oh, actually. Yes, yeah. Sir. No, you know what this makes me think of. When Cash and Maverick were living in L.A., Cash didn't cook, and he was trying to eat at home, so he would get these frozen <laughs> oh, this, meals. This, hold up. I feel bad for this. This is the actual... I do actually... I genuinely feel this bad for mean. this. Never live with roommates. This is the <laughs> no, actual... No, never live with five guys. <laughs> yeah, this is a horrible story, man. So, they're cooking, and I remember dating Cash, and he was telling me he was getting sick every day. And every I was day. Like, he I didn't was... tell me he was getting sick, so I didn't know. But, like, he wasn't, like, out of the norm norm, because, like, I fart a lot. Yeah. So now I was but just was... pooping a lot. I'm yeah. sorry, bud. And I was like, bruh, why am I pooping so much? And not only am I pooping so much, I am sick. Can I tell the story? <laughs> and, all right, you tell yeah. the Yeah, so every day, Cash was on the same schedule. He'd come down, and he'd get his pasta, I was, his wait, frozen on, pasta wait, I was thing. playing video games a lot. He played way video games much. a lot. So he would come down, this he'd get his COVID. frozen pasta thing out of the fridge like those packet meals yeah Frozen and then he'd put it in the oven or microwave or whatever and it would take a couple minutes six minutes while he did that he would go upstairs every day he'd go upstairs because he would run down in between games stick it in the there loading and then screen. go back so up you got a sprint yeah he's on a loading screen so he's got to get back up there before the game starts. i don't want to drop in you know like so we i would be like oh i'll take his food out for him so i'd take his food out and me and michael decided to start putting laxative in his food every yeah. day every, every day. single day every day Every for day. like two weeks. And it, after we didn't realize anything was happening, 
we just started putting a lot. Like a <laughs> they lot started more. pouring laxative in <laughs> like, my food. Like, I mean, it was at one point we were putting like this whole water bottle of laxative oh in this food every day. I was literally eating a bottle of laxative a day. Every day. And I was horribly sick, but I wasn't <laughs> whining about it. Like, I'm not going to go to my guy roommates and be like, bro, I'm so sick. Can you hold me? <laughs> like, and dude, I was <laughs> so, so sick. And every day that I went. Oh, and we also, uh, Michael would make his protein shake every day. He would make one for him and one for Cash. Yeah. And so we also put it in Cash's protein shake. Yeah, so I was getting before the two, two extra, extra, extra doses of laxative yeah. a day. Yeah. And after the first week, I kid you not, when I say we were putting a lot of laxative in there, we were putting so much how laxative. How big is the bottle? Food. Well, we went through multiple bottles. Oh. Yeah. No, but how, but how big is like a bottle? Uh, it was like, it was, I, I can't remember Probably if it was like a bottle or a bag. I can't remember. It's a, it's a bottle. It's but like it a was tub. like, it had these scoops, and we would do like multiple scoops. It's like a Bloom Nutrition container. Uh, yeah. And we would do like multiple scoops in your thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so, moral of the story, I was horribly sick, oh, all because of self sabotage. Be moral of the story is living with men is terrible. Yeah. It is terrible. No. That me, was funny. Let me tell you my theory of gaming. I know we we're talking like a bunch of like conspiracy theories, but. I think if you like game so much, like your face is gonna get so pale because you don't get any. Um, yeah, that's what I'm. No, I'm kidding. No, but, like, <laughs> no, no wait. She's so, to so basically, what I'm thinking is, you know, some gamers they just sit in their chair all day watching, playing their game. Yeah. They don't go outside. Don't get any vitamin D, which is gonna make your face very pale from um, artificial screen light. Okay. And then your eyes are gonna get bloodshot from yeah. staring at a screen, which that happens like to some people because like you can't like stare at a screen for so long, you know? And then you're gonna get terrible posture yeah. because like- What if you have you good have to, posture? Well, you can't have good posture yeah, while gaming. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, no, but like- you caught us all out. And then, and then you're gonna get like super like, I don't know, like you're, you're just gonna have bad posture so your stomach's gonna go out. Yeah. And then you're gonna eat and then it's Wait, gonna Wait, so what's the other. theory? The theory is you're gonna look terrible when you game too much. <laughs> so, so don't be gaming for too long. Yeah. Whoa. Whereas, so Harper does not like gamers. Yeah. That's what we learned. Yeah. Just whereas, like she doesn't like nerd guys, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you if you game too much, then I won't let you pick me up off of my scooter. So yeah. Yeah, go, go, <laughs> check, go check out the last podcast for that yeah. story. But um, yeah, that's just I feel like gaming, like I'm not I don't really game. Like I like I don't really know. It's just Do you like, play like games on your phone though? Like yeah. our friend Paige every you got day. Yeah, games on your phone. Every you day Paige games on phone? her phone. No, Paige is like I got to feed my animals. And like Paige is like 20 <laughs> years old, like a grown woman and yeah. she gets on her phone every single day to go honest, feed her an- it's animals. It's so normal to me when guys play video games. But when, when a, a girl does it, when a 20-year-old <laughs> girl gets on Clash of Clans, I'm like, uh. She doesn't play Clash. Yeah, she does. She has her village. Okay. Let's I'm gonna be real though. It's kind of like a really attractive thing. Yo, what? Yeah. Like when a girl's like, oh, I'm plat on Apex, I'm like, yo, what? Mav, what you're, are you're you? are plat? Like, like that's really good for a girl. <laughs> Wait. Bruh. I guess Mav's into that. If, what? You, if Kate ever started trying to play Apex with me, I would be like, get off my Xbox right what? now. What? You're I'd telling cry. me if your girl was good at Apex, your level Bruh. or better, you wouldn't enjoy if she's that? she's better at me, that's even worse. <laughs> no, it's a video game. <laughs> Bruh. She can be better at that, that sports than me, but a video game's okay. Oh my no. gosh, y'all are so... I think and also, it's like, video games is like the bro time, you know what yeah. I mean? No, no, no. I mean, yeah, but like, if she can carry me to, to yeah. Masters... This explains, because all Mab's girlfriends played video games with us. All of them. We'd get on, we'd be like, true. yo, what's up, dudes? What's up? All right, we're going to go into battle. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of dudes <laughs> drinking Mountain Dew, going into war. Okay. And then we would hear, hey guys, Mab's gone. So, uh, exactly. so uh, I'm going to play for now. Oh, yeah, but, uh, and then switch parties. Switch party switch chat. Party. Okay, I, I've been really obsessed with this one game. Okay, so I used to be obsessed with it when I was really little. But, like, do you ever go back to those games when you were little and be like, oh, I miss that. And then you start playing it and get addicted. So, anyways, I play. Papa's Freezeria. Mario yeah. Kart. Oh, my gosh. Minecraft. Yes, bro. Yeah. No, but I Anybody play, play Restaurant City on Facebook? Yes. I wish I could Facebook. find that game. You played Restaurant There's City? There's no way you played Restaurant yes. City. There's no way. I that did. game was popular like, when I was 12. Cooking ah. Fever. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Okay, it looked like Restaurant City. Anyways. Oh. Um, um, what so was you it just called? named a game that had food in it yeah. and called it <laughs> Restaurant City? <laughs> well, there's, but, okay, anyways. Some kid's um, like, I love Minecraft. And he's like, oh my I gosh, played I it in the 70s. Too. You mean Legos? You yeah. played Legos? <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is, I love Animal Jam. It's yeah. like really weird. It's a really weird game. But I like get diamonds. And I actually just bought a house today. And it makes me feel so accomplished. You're a Harper? Harper? Yeah. Wow. Harper's a homeowner. Do you play Episode? 
No. Oh, oh my gosh. that's not a play. That's, that's not a game. My mom wouldn't let me get in. Yeah, yeah no, you don't yeah, need to play it. That is the lowest IQ thing I've ever seen any human my, everybody do. Everybody used to get in third grade, and I was like, but why? I, I wish I could have it. No, I literally, it sucks because you try to play episode, and it's like, it's like you're going out on a date with the guy you've been dreaming of for years, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, do you want to wear the super cute outfit, or do you want to go out looking homeless? But if you want the super cute outfit, you have to pay money, like real yeah, life money for to, it. Mm -hmm. So then you did you buy to, it, or you have to do premium? Well, like, like, my no. mom was smart. No, no, my mom was smart and didn't hook her credit card up to my to like my phone and stuff, mm. so I could never buy it. There you but, go, bro. That's the biggest, most important thing when you have a kid. Especially like 10 years old. I've seen kids spend thousands without Dude, their parents. Do yeah. not hook up your credit card to your kid's yeah. thing. I have yeah. to like, it says purchase not allowed on mine. Bro, so I, even me, like I know if I had access to a credit card on my phone when I was playing Clash of Clans oh, back yeah. in the day, my bill would be maxed out. Bro, I'd be buying all the bills. I know, I would have racked up a bill on episode for my mom. That's just embarrassing. Because <laughs> if you guys don't know That's what episode sad, is, Kate. it's so stupid. It no. is like, it's like a TV show. And you just have to click. You get to play pick what happens every in the story. It's like, do you want to go out on a date or reject him? Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Let's go out on a date. But but no, but no, you don't ever get to do the fun option because mm. it's like pay five ninety nine if you want to go out on a date. Yeah, they scam the so is, hard. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, episode. I wonder how much sorry, money no? they've made off that. Episode yeah. has to be balling so hard right now because and of that. Like the next thing is like if you don't go on a date with it, it's like do you want to go on a date with a tree or a dog? And it's like so weird. I, it sucks. Mm -hmm. Like it makes you feel so bad about yourself. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, know. if your options are between a tree and a dog, <laughs> that's pretty sad. <laughs> no, but that is like so accurate. What? It's so accurate. Like episode will be like. Wait, that's accurate. No, it's like, it's when like, have you ever you're been playing, like? Well, you're playing guess games. I'm gonna have to take my dog. <laughs> like, like, how is that no, accurate? No, listen. Episode oh, will man, be like. The, dog, I chose the, tree the story option. will be like, you want to go on a date with this super cute guy or no? You can't. You can't pay five ninety nine to go on a date. So you say no, and then it's like, do you want to sit at home and wallow in self pity, or you want to like do this Bro, other thing? Yeah, you want to know the most Riz thing? We were talking about Riz. Do that in real life. Be like, what? walk up. Hey, do you want to go on a date with me? If so, that would he be $5.99. That. If, <laughs> if not, if not, I'll see you later. Cash, he did that when he was charging girls to dance with him. <gasps> whoa, whoa, he whoa, did. whoa, whoa. That sounds really bad. Yeah. Charging girls no, to no, dance no. with me. He that did. is not he's been what it sounds he's been like. Dancing that's dancing not what it like. sounds like. He's yes, been not, that's exactly what it is. You, take, you took advantage. I was like eight. I'd say I got taken advantage of. No, he was like 10 or 11. Eight? Okay, 10, 11, no, no, 12, no, listen. I don't no. know, maybe okay, 10 or 11. Let me tell the story. He was like in fifth, fifth fourth oh, grade. Yeah, that makes sense. So like nine or 10. Okay, so I guess he might be right. So like he was like nine years old, right? He goes to the dance, whatever the and dance is. And I already is. knew how to dance a little bit, but not very much, school but dance. a little bit. Yeah, he goes to the school. More than anyone else. He goes to the school dance at nine. <laughs> Him and my sister, I was jealous. I couldn't go. I was only in like, I don't know, kindergarten, first grade. I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. My dad and my mom give him like $10, $5, whatever, right? And he goes to the dance, and he comes back. My parents pick him up, and he comes back with more <laughs> money than they gave him. And they were like, what? what? Did you not use your money, and how did you get more? Like, I know you didn't invest it in this short amount of time. He like, and he goes, and he didn't say anything. My sister tattled on him, and he was she, like. My sister acted all mad, and she was mad because I, I didn't dance with her very much. Yeah, and our sister was like, he's charging girls to dance with him. And my dad just starts laughing, and my mom is, my mom is not happy mm -mm, she was about happy. math charging girls to dance Cause yeah. i pretty much took money from other nine-year-olds <laughs> yeah, he, like, he like charged a dollar for them to, like girls would like want to dance no, no, with no, him no, and no. he charged Listen, them they came up to me they say hey will you dance with my friend i said i said no mm -hmm. they said I'll give you $5. I said, bet. You okay. were literally playing an episode in real life. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you were. You were literally like. Those girls were watching you. The were the, That's you why were the they guy. paid you. Mm, you were the this guy is true. That, we, that all the girls wanted to dance with. <laughs> but they couldn't unless they paid for it. Oh. <laughs> and then they go home and their mom and dads were like, Where, where'd your $5 go? And you're like, oh, I danced with Matt. You want to know what's dance. sad yeah, about that so story? That story is actually a sad, but it had a happy ending for me. You know, I got paid in the Not end. Not for all these other girls that no, had to pay. You don't understand what I went through that night. Okay. What did you go what through? Did you go First off. A breakup? I, yes. Are you sure about that? Listen, I, and, and, I, I said there was this girl. Her name was uh, Natalie. I, I said, remember her. I said, she, she's a beautiful girl. I said, you want to go to the dance with me? She said, I'd love to go to the dance Side with note, you. Side note, I, I liked Natalie too. But, Natalie? Oh, wait. I got to back up. Before I asked her to the dance, my parents made me call her dad and ask him. <laughs> and I was like nine. Uh, yeah, nine not, years old. Bro. I was like. Imagine you get a phone call okay. from a nine-year-old. Hey, hey, sir, can I take your daughter to the dance? That's so Yeah, brutal. so I call her dad. And it's awkward, you know, 
And he's like, obviously nice. He's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. And um, so I go pick this girl up. I, I dress all fancy. And I had to pay with my own money to get her into that dance at night. So I, I did. That's and then so I, sweet. This is burnt in my memory. $8. <laughs> $8. Okay? I paid $8. That's low-key expensive for yeah, a nine-year-old. Right? So I pay 8 bucks to get this girl into this thing. There goes grandma's birthday money. Guess what? Guess what? I take two steps into the door. She takes off. She's gone. She Didn't see you. her the rest of the she night. She used you. As soon as we walked in the door, she disappeared. Oh. I went. Maverick, did you like want to cry? I went. What? And she was gone. It oh. all makes sense now. His main and then character moment. She used you. Yes. To, to get in the dance, and that's why mm-hmm. you you were using that girl just to dance with. So then, I end up seeing my sister there, and we 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 dance, and because uh, we we had danced a little bit growing up, and then everyone saw that I could dance. And they're like, oh, well. Maverick can dance. Now, all of a sudden, they want me. Now, <laughs> now they want me. No one, no one wanted him. No one wanted no. Maverick before they so, saw him dance. Then they start coming up and asking him dance. And I'm like, no, you didn't want me then. And then they offered me money. I was like, yeah, I'm kind of down right now. So <laughs> I, I, I could use the cash. He's like, I'm going to make my money back. Hey, yeah. so maybe you just broke even. Maybe you weren't really scamming. Um, yeah. No, I definitely made money because I spent a lot, too. Oh. After they paid me, I started buying other girls concession food. Like, <laughs> I was like, I have money now. Did you go to a dance? Yeah, I did. It was $20. Oh, oh. Wow. inflation. They're bro. raising those like, prices. <laughs> okay, <laughs> also, she lives in Dallas, Texas. Y'all lived in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, hey, there was only like, 50 kids in my grade. The so. funny yeah. thing is... Also inflation. The whole grade, not my class. Mm-hmm. 50 kids in the whole grade. No, so I took... Um, you know, those three guys that we're talking about. Did you go out? Did you go with a guy? Wait, you took three guys? No, no, I didn't. I didn't. No, 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 no. no. (laughs) I'm talking about a dance. That's rich. Yeah, she's got more than you. I took three guys to the dance, but no, Mm -hmm. um, I took, so we were all on our scooters, the three guys that I was talking about in last podcast, and they were all like, can you buy me food? And (laughs) at Wendy's, at Wendy's. So they, they Yo, you look like Wendy. Why don't you? Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. In the world, Cass, that, that was kind of cold. Like, no, like, Please that was forgive like a, me. That was like a slap across the face for no reason. Yeah. I didn't know Ooh. no one liked Wendy. Harper, you don't deserve you that. Face. You deserve better. You don't like Baconators? <laughs> Come again. No, but uh, I bought them Wendy's all be gross, food, dog. And they were like, they were like, yeah, can you, like, can, can, will you pay for our food? And I was like, yeah, they're probably just going to get, like, fries and stuff. They started buying the whole entire menu. Yeah, the, guys do the that. Bill, the bill ended up being, I think, $50 <gasps> for all of them. No. I no. asked my mom to pay me back. They're like, hey, hey, thanks, Harper. The next day, they just ghosted me. I was like, are you joking? Wait, so guys, do you have, like, you for f- I mean, that you, sounds about right. Hey. Do you have, um, like, a debit card or yes. something? Wow. Wait, and you got to wait. Yeah, I'll take that. I was like, you know, that's a sad story, but you know, that happens to me way too often. <laughs> okay? and they Stop they buying that. girls food if you're not dating them. There's no need for that. Yeah, both of y'all. For yeah, yeah, don't buy back, people though. food if you're I'm not like, with them. I'm like, do you not have food at home? Like, <laughs> what's going on? Harper, I would be so mad. I was, I'm still mad to this day. I'm like, Wait, you The fact that they ghosted you after that, too, that's so shady. They said they would pay me back, too. And I still see they them. Never, if anybody ever says that, hey, they never do. Hey, if I do. see them in person ever again, I will tell them. I'll Thank say, you. y'all owe Harper $50 mm-hmm. for that for that Wendy's. From Wendy's. And they also called me Wendy's, too. Like, Is that why you got mad when I said Wendy's? Yes, it bring it brought me flashbacks. I, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wendy's flashbacks. is gross, dog. Like, that's a, like yeah. of all the restaurants, why would you I say? Will listen, say I only... have you ever been to a Wendy's bathroom? Oh, oh. oh, even just their lobby. I start slipping all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> it's like mean, oil no, just everywhere. Why yeah. are like random fast food bathrooms like always slippery? I know, <laughs> I know. Dude, it's it's grease in the floors. That's when you know not to eat there. Sometimes you walk into fast food restaurants in the common area, is slippery. You're like sliding around. <laughs> no, y'all, I got, I got you something. Ice skate over to the counter. I got something to tell y'all. So this makes me. I haven't. I I really haven't eaten at this restaurant since I heard this. Um, so Whataburger. Don't tell me. <gasps> oh. I like Whataburger. Don't no, tell listen. me the no, story. No, no, no. You already know the story. Oh. So Whataburger. <laughs> my brother used to work there when he was 16. Oh, oh this is a funny story, man. <laughs> He's got a lot. Of, we should have like, him on like, just to talk about his Whataburger <laughs> no, stories. No, listen. My brother worked at Whataburger when he was 16, right? Pretty much like two weeks after he quits working Whataburger, uh, they got security footage because this... This homeless lady had went into the women's bathroom. I don't even know if she was homeless. She might have just been vibing. No, oh, this she's homeless definitely lady homeless. had gone into the um, had gone into the win, like women's restroom, opened up the tile ceiling, and was living on top of the water burger above uh, above the, the attic. kitchen. Like, yes. No, not the attic. It was in just the a drop ceiling. ceiling. Yeah, and so then then she falls through the ceiling 
R barely misses the stove, barely misses a worker. It was like Can't rush hour. Barely missed the dude. It was <laughs> one of those huge crazy. stoves. They're flipping burgers in the video or something, <laughs> and she just <laughs> falls. She falls through, and like the security camera footage got leaked because someone. No, but nobody's ever like it's not viral. It's not viral, but it, it, is, should, be. it Yo, should be. Should be. I'm gonna see if I can get it and put, throw it up on the screen. Please, yeah. Please, if I we get that video, it. it's gonna oh. go it's viral. It's so, so funny, but it's like I literally was like, imagine like. Like, someone's living on top of Whataburger while they're <laughs> flipping, but like all these underpaid, like 16 year olds yeah. are just barely getting by. And like, like some lady, like, almost like living them. up there with a the Imagine you're at a drive through line, <laughs> waiting, <laughs> waiting on your food. You're like, it's taking forever. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, so, a lady <laughs> fell through our ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> right now, there's no one fell through the ceiling. No, whatever girl already takes an excruciating like amount of time oh to get your gosh. food. I'm pretty like, sure. I can't imagine being in the drive-through line in that day. Dude, I've she said fell this through. joke before, but I'm pretty sure you have to fail a drug test to work at Whataburger. Dude, no, that's so It takes so like facts. nine years Whataburger, to get my food I, I, there. I, I'm like, I want some Whataburger. I pull in the parking lot. I see one car through the drive-through in front of me. I'm like, nah, I'm good. You literally don't have time. Yeah. Like, it, it doesn't matter if there's one car or like. 15 cars, like you are guaranteed to be in that drive-thru line at least 45 minutes. 45 minutes is the minimum. And I don't understand how they do it because Chick-fil-A is like Ooh. a minimum of 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally. And, like Chick -fil -A. Have, and their, theirs will be around the drive, like around their building, around the building and around Whataburger yeah. and, and they win. Yeah, no, like Whataburger and it, I don't understand because it didn't used to be like this. Like, it, yeah. it, it started happening when well, I was, like, 15. Well, then the homeless lady fell through the Yeah, I guess the homeless lady falling through the ceiling, which is the <laughs> downfall of Whataburger. And the funny thing is, every time me and my mom go to Whataburger, um, it, okay, so there's this one worker, and he, um, he's, okay, so he, I, he, like, foams of the mouth. What? And Yo. He Wait. foams, like, white I'm not stuff. gonna make any jokes. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. What do you mean he foams? He foams out of his mouth and, like, gets it on her fries. Oh, I know a guy like no, that. No, he gets it on the fries? Oh, so he's just spitting on your fries. <laughs> no, no, I no, it's, He has rabies, I think. Like, what? I, 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 he, no, I don't think he has rabies. <laughs> he's got rabies. No, I knew a guy like that, too. Like, what? No, like, no, no I know. Now that I'm thinking I about know. it, the spit would just collect in no, his mouth. No, but it's, like, white and foamy. Yes. Like, and Honey. it literally, like, he was, like, guaranteed to spit every four mm -hmm. words. It, it was, yeah. like, I'm, like, he's, I'm, like, oh, okay. No, mine is, like, one word. But, like, he's really sweet. <laughs> every single word, there's a launch of oh, spit that hits the fries. I'm, like, hey. He's, like, and he's, like, what else can I get you? And, like, all of it's already here. And he's, like, oh, well. And I was, like, um, I, I feel so bad for him, though, because he's, like, just trying to get by. But he, yeah. Uh, spitting in everyone's spit. Spitting you everywhere. Guys, you guys like, want to know my worst fast food experience. Mm -hmm. I pretty much have stopped eating yes, fast this food, will be I'm not going to uh, lie. Tell the story and then we're going to have to like end this. the pod because we're already at like 35 Wait, minutes. Wait, what? Do you know what the story is? I, I assume you're telling the Taco Bell story. Oh, with I the have murders, two. With the murders. Oh. Stop. Uh, mm, which one are we legally allowed to talk about yeah, that? Yeah, we are. There, okay, I'll, uh, I'll tell that one. I'll tell that one. I was going to say the original one, but I'll tell this one. So, m me and Kate and her brother... So me, Kate, and her brother named Michael are all like, let's go to Taco Bell. And this is the day that Kate gets her license. I, I was freshly 16, just got my driver's she license. She just got her license that day. And we're like, all right, let's go to Taco Bell. It's like 1 a.m. I'm whipping. We're like, hey, Kate, you drive. Just got your license. Let's go. We go to Taco Bell, <laughs> pull in the drive-thru. Everything's normal. We pull out of the drive-thru, get our food. And somehow the guys in front of us pulled out at like the same time. So they got their food. We got our food. And we're going down the street. And it's like... It's a street. It's like, it's like a 40-mile-an-hour speed limit, maybe. So we're going, like, 40 miles an hour. They roll down their window, and they got their hand out like this. Hey, with the, a taco. With the burrito in there. I hand. was driving. My brother was in passenger. Cass was in passenger. Was back a very weird situation. Like, what do you do there? And you know those 1 a.m. Taco Bell runs? Yeah. And you're just, your head's leaned against the window. You're in the back seat, and you're just looking like this. Right? And you're just sad. And then suddenly a guy's handing you a burrito. Yeah, and you're just sad because it's 1 a.m., and you should be in bed, and you got to wake up the next morning. And I'm just eating my nacho fries, and I see a burrito float by me, and I was like, hey, yo. And God, God, is that you? Yeah. And I was like, there's a burrito. And they were like, oh, do you want it? And I was like, I mean, I'm full, but I'll take it. So I run on the window, and our, our hands are, like, meeting. I grab the burrito. We're going, like, 50 miles an hour down the road. Oh, my God. And, and it, was like a, it was, like, perfectly. an angelical moment. Like, it was, no. it was beautiful. Yeah, it was great. Everything worked perfectly. Like, perfect handoff. We had this burrito, and I was like, guys, I'm actually full. Do you guys want it? Kate and Michael are like, nah, we don't want it. And I was like, okay, uh, I guess we'll hand it back to him. So we're going like 40 mile an hour again. Oh, we pull no. up beside them. 
No, my hand's out of the car. Like, hey, he's your burrito bag. They probably think I did something to it. <laughs> and, and we can't get close enough because Kate's trying to get us close. That guy who's driving that car. I know Kate to... was freaking out. Oh, well, yeah, dude. Kate was like, she just got her license road. and Kate's like, guys, and I'm like, get closer. And we're on a windy road, so I was constantly having to like turn and then turn and then turn mm -hmm. because it was just like turns. And we can't get close enough and our hands are like, I'm talking like maybe eight, nine inches, a foot, probably a foot. Yeah. Our, our hands are like a foot apart. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I just <laughs> thought, oh, I'll just toss him the burrito. Mm. But I forget we're going like 40 mile an hour. And I toss him the oh. burrito and it goes, boom, right in this man's face. No. And it splatters all in his car and just oh. all over his face. It was like, and it and was like a nice, like new Ford Fusion. Yeah, like and they're like, car. they're like our age, maybe. And just burrito tiny. everywhere, exploded. Yeah, burrito they were like, exploded. Yeah, they were probably 20 years old and they get. Mad, they obviously, because so I mean, from their POV, I was just, it like a full burrito? <laughs> dude? Oh, like, it, was, like, it, was like, dude, it was like those chimichangas, bro. <laughs> it and was so, it was stuffed. Like, so it was, it was like, like a lot. Yeah, stuff. you know that song that I went out for the chimichimichanga, chimichimichanga, and then the burrito yeah. blue? The burrito flew out of my hand just like that. Oh. I, but I threw it, it didn't fly. I and threw so it out. these guys think that cash and is they the thought, They thought they handed me a taco, did a nice deed, and in return, I was like, hey. <laughs> No, I want this taco and I threw it back at him, right? So they're and, pissed. I mean, they took honestly, offense to that because and, you threw a taco yeah, at him. Yeah, honestly, like, I see why they were mad. <laughs> I, I get it. I would be mad too if I handed someone a taco and they threw it in my face in return. <laughs> and so they're like yelling at us. They're like, pull over right now. They're like cussing us out. And, and they I'm get like behind stressing. us. Kate's freaking out. And they get behind us and they start following us. And, and so we I'm like, like, well, I can't go home now. Yeah, we're like, mm -hmm. we were almost to our house. And we're like, well, we can't. Pull How out. long did they follow you? Literally, yeah. like, they were not stopping. I drove around for like probably like 10, 15 minutes, and they were still following me. So I was like, okay. They wait. were ready to get yeah. you. No, yeah, we literally drove like, around. We made like freaking eight right hand turns, bro. They're like, you're gonna circle. pay yeah. for this taco yeah, you and threw they were at not us. Not letting up, and we were like, dude, it's because it's just me, Michael, and Kate. Yeah, right? so and we don't two guys, right? And we're like, dude. We don't know how many people are in this car. There could be six people in there. Yeah. Like this ready is bad. to jump and we're like, us. Michael, I was like, Michael, bro, there could be six guys in here and there's two of us. And three. We were like, damn. What am I? Oh, shit. <laughs> Liver? And, and, okay. and Michael was like, oh, dude, what do we do? What do we do? And I was like, dude, I don't know. Like, uh, we're going to run out of gas eventually if we just keep going in a circle. And he was like, you know what? My friend's at a house party right now. Because they were in like high school at the time. And he's like, my friend's at a house party. And he's like, I'll call him, and we'll roll up to the house party and have all the guys come outside yeah. just in case there's, like, six of them. Smart move. Yeah, yeah, so we roll up to the house party, and all Michael's buddy, like, freaking, like, I don't know, the whole football team comes out. There was, like, nine guys that come out. They're, they were pretty beefy, too. Yeah, dude, one of them was, like, 6'5", bro. And he's I, beefy. I was like, all right, we chill now. Now I'm confident, because I'm like, if we get in a fight, I don't even got to fight. I don't, I'll just manage the fight. I'll be like, hey, you get him, you get him. And I'll be, like, the announcer. Even though I'm You'll be, like, Joe Rogan over there. I will be oh, Joe Rogan. Oh, my God, and he's out. He's out cold. <laughs> and then, like, if my guy got beat up, I'll send another one in there. They're all inside <laughs> yeah. the house. And so I'm chilling. They get out, and they were surprisingly confident, too. And I was like, oh, no, is there six of them? And they, but only two of them hop out. And I was like, whew. And luckily, they were, they were very small guys. And I was like, all right, all right. We're chilling. But they're very confident, too. They're, like, yelling wait, at me. Wait, wait. They're like, what? No, you're forgetting. There was a cop that pulled up on us. That's after. No. So they get mad. They come out. They're yelling at us. Blah, blah, blah. And, like, the huge guy that was, like, 6'5", <laughs> 300 pounds, he was like, all right, everyone calm down, calm down, blah, 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 blah. And they, they're like, you two talk about me. I was like, I understand. <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> that, that's what it appears to be from your perspective. But and I just, The guy still has, like, lettuce in his hair. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I just handed it to you. You just missed. Wayne took it, you know? And he was like, look at the inside of our car. And wow, <laughs> I did not know a burrito could make that big of a mess. It was like everywhere. Because it just went, poof, poof. and he was like, oh I just God. bought this car two months ago. And oh I was like, no. oh, that's oh, not good. Geez. Maybe you should get a refund. But um, burrito sauce everywhere, everywhere. lettuce, oh. cheese, all over the car. And he's like, all right, just clean our car and we'll call it good. Now, did you call it good. Like, what did he want? No, no, was no, wait, I, I'll, I'll say that part. But I was like, he was like, clean our car and we'll call it good. And I was like, Dude, I'm not about to be caught cleaning another man's car. <laughs> like, dude, no You're way. Like, I'm not, I'm not your. I'm yeah, not doing I'm like, that. no, no way. I'm about to do this. Yeah. But I forgot to mention this part. When I threw the taco at him, he retaliated in like half a second and threw his taco he was eating back at me. <laughs> so he was mid taco. So, <laughs> he was yes, like he was like, taco. He got hit. He in reaction, he threw his taco at me 
And it kind of got in our car a little bit, not near what it got in his car. But yeah. it got in our car, and it got all over the side of our car. And I was like, fine. But if we're going to clean your car, yeah. you got to clean our car. And he's like, he's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. So we each pull out our Windex, you know, and we start going up. We, we are cleaning each other's cars. And we're each oh. like, yeah, we got him good. He's cleaning my car. <laughs> I'm cleaning his car. And actually, I, I was like, Kate, can you clean his car? Because I, I, can't, I can't do that, man. And, and I was just like, Kate was cleaning it when he walked over. And he's like, he was like, why is she cleaning it? He was and mad that Cash wasn't he, cleaning the car. He was mad because I just made him clean our car. And in return, I just had my girlfriend cleaning his car. And he was like, why are you cleaning it? He wanted me to clean it. And the 6'5 <laughs> guy was like, do you, do, you want, do you want your car clean or not, dude? And he's like, fine. And then he stood there. And then the worst thing happened. He's looking at me, and he's like, you look familiar. <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, oh, no. And he was like, I swear I've seen you on TikTok before. I was like, no, no. And he pulls up a picture of me. Or he pulls up my TikTok account. He has the whole thing. And he's like, this has got to be you. And I was like. He, had, he showed the video that you posted earlier that day in the same clothes. Yeah. And I, I switched shirts, but I had the same necklace on. He's like, this has got to be you, man. And I was like, no, no. And he's like, that's crazy, y'all. And it was like a one-of-a-kind necklace. Like, yeah, it, was, it, was like, it was like a pretty unique necklace. And he was like, that's crazy. Y'all look so much alike. And he just put his phone back in his pocket. And I was like, is this guy that dumb? Like, bro, like, I'm, yeah. look at the necklace. Uh, hello. And he, he didn't believe it. He, I told him no, and he believed me. And he just went with it. Yeah. And that's the story. What were no, you no, going to no. say? I was no, gonna say, there's more to no, the no, story. No, no, there's more. There. more there's oh, more. No. I forgot the... Oh, uh, she wants to tell it now. I'm going to tell <laughs> it because I was the one who experienced this. Anyways, so as there, our cars are being ex cleaned in exchange, a cop rolls up because he had been called... It's like 2 a.m. at this point. He had been called in on like car break-ins in this neighborhood. So he sees all of this commotion outside of a house and he's like, pulls up. And these guys like sprint to him, like wanted to talk to him first. And so. And I was like, what, are they gonna tattle on me for yeah. throwing a taco? So we were like, like dude, calm what down. In the world? So by the time I get up to the police car, the cops are already like, all right, all right, y'all have a good night, y'all be safe. And then and he, he drove, drove off. Away. And I was like, what did this guy say to him yeah, to just get a cop to go, no all right, see y'all? When there was said, like 20 guys standing Yeah, out. I don't know what he said. So then we go about the night. Uh, the guys at the party actually give the, these guys a beer uh, to make. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That scared me. Uh, to like to like even it out to Can make you sure. Talk slower, jeez. Like Sorry. Eminem over here. So they um they give him a drink to you know make it even. Everyone's fine and dandy. We go home. These we well, we had actually started small talk with these guys and we were like, where yeah, are y'all from? At this point, we were chill with them. Now, yeah. now we're all just talking yeah. about a good and time. And we were like, well, where are y'all from? And they're like, oh, I mean, we're just kind of like moving. And we were like, what? And they're like, we're just kind of like on the run. And, and then we I was like, like, well, where are you from? And they're like, we're on the run from Chicago. And we were like, okay, they didn't say run. Yeah. No, they didn't Swear. say run. They said, they said, we're from Chicago. And we were like, what are you doing down here? And they're like, oh, just hanging out. <laughs> they, were, they were weird about it. They were weird about it. We were like, we knew something was off. And the next morning I wake up and I check Twitter. There was two <laughs> men that were like on the run from Chicago for murder, for shooting. And, yeah, and, and they match they the, matched the description perfectly, like the, the same exact tattoos. description. They, like the guys were pretty much built, kind of like me and Mav, like the same height, like and same they had tattoos. like these tattoos, and they described no the guys perfectly. perfectly. And I was like, "Bro, I threw a taco at some murderers. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty and cool." So, you asked me. We were like, "Holy crap!" Like, imagine if we would have gotten shot, and then. And Probably I was like, shot, like, I would have just dodged it through another burrito <laughs> soto taco. Man's yeah. got burrito in his eyes, like, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so that's the story. I was going to my nacho fries. Yeah, I had hot sauce on me. <laughs> that's crazy. No, yeah. I know. That was like scary. I Imagine was like, if there was hot sauce in the burrito. <laughs> oh my god, it got in his eyes. He would like, went so imagine mad. Imagine how mad. No, like we probably are so, but now I'm, I was like, but then it made sense. I was like, he sprinted to the cop and said something to him to make him, like, I don't know yeah, what. Yeah, I don't know what he said, but he wanted to make sure the cop did not investigate people because yeah. obviously he's on the run from murder. So like, he, I wonder if he's still on the run. Well, I saw him. Yeah, actually, actually saw I him. guess he's hanging around this area. I saw him like three months later, both of them, and they were at Walmart at the coin machine, dumping a bunch of coins in the machine and to get like the money back. And I was like, that's interesting. They're and they, no, they, I was they like, saw us, remember? Because we saw them in the store and we walked out and we're pulling out of Walmart and they walk out of Walmart as we're driving away. Yeah. And they stared us down. Because they stared we us down so car. hard. We were still in the car. They were like, checking to make sure you didn't have any tacos yeah, on Yeah, no, you. I completely <laughs> ignored them. I just ate my taco and winked at them as I walked out. I was like, see y'all later. But yeah, that's my story about how I threw taco at some murderers. Yeah. Wow. Life and is crazy. I'm still low-key kind of scared of what would have happened if 
Michael's no. buddies wasn't throwing a no, party. No, I know. Like, I think we so would have like, been in danger. I was like, it would have been probably a fight. So. Or a uh, shooting. I mean. But like, obviously, yeah. I win those. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I win no, those. No, we just really were not sure, like, how many guys were in the car. Yeah. Like, there could have been, like, eight guys packed in a Ford Fusion. 100%. A well, Ford, Ford Fusion, Fusion, don't tell them that. It was a big truck. It was a scary vehicle. It was a very scary vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. All right, guys. Thank you so much for yes. watching this episode of LOL Podcast. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.